Whoa! What the hell? I'm glad he's dead anyway. Oh! Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. We have a map generated by Nitrogen, and it is a wasteland map. It, the entire thing is wasteland, except for one small little green biome somewhere that we are trying to find. We have no idea where it is, but we're on the lookout for it. So, hope you guys enjoy this episode. It is now morning. If you did not catch uh, yesterday's episode, basically... Um, we uh, did a little bit of looting and then sort of kind of got pinned down by a bunch of feral zombies at nighttime in that building over there. So we, you know, eventually made our way over here. And then I wanted to wait until morning before we, uh, you know, tried to get into this place and loot it. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, I believe there's probably a couple vultures over there, but if we can avoid aggroing them, that would be ideal. And the good loot for this POI is actually right behind this wall here. It's in this kitchen. So we're going to see if we can work our way in there. Without hopefully attracting too much attention. There's going to be, there's probably, there was, there was a, um, a military zombie in, in here the last time we were in this POI. Let's go ahead and reinforce this in case we do get company. And I think just so they don't have anything to stand on, let's break this too. All right. Okay, let's do this. I think... Yeah, it's a military guy. All right, let's put a two military guys. Oh shit! I don't know, man. I don't know if this is gonna work. They're breaking that fast. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to make some noise here because they're just getting through there too quickly. Shit. Okay. <laughs> we, we definitely had to fight to get in here, didn't we? Goodness gracious. All right. But we did it. That's the important thing. Okay. Uh, all right, let's see what we got. Weapons bag. Another pistol and 77 9 mil rounds. Wow, that's nice. Let's check the junk turret. It is... It's got more rounds per minute, but it's inferior in every other way, so I'm just going to check it. Got some food here. Some beer. Okay, what's in here? Nice beer. Oh, man, look at that. Silver nuggets. 450 coin. Um, that's worth 200 coin. Okay, we're going to take this. Once again, let's check this turret. Yeah, our turret's much better than this one. I mean, I guess we could put this back in here. Remember, we don't, we do not have respawning loot, so it doesn't matter if we put something back in there or not. There are bookcases in here, too. Nice, more shotgun shells. Okay, let's finish looting this. We could definitely use the food. <coughs> I don't know if I'm going to take the silver with me, but I'm definitely going to stash it over, you know, in our with our other stuff before we leave, if nothing else. Okay. So we've got a medical thing here. Or glue. 
No, I thought I saw something moving. It was just uh, the particles of that thing that we broke. Okay, let's uh, craft those. Oh, here, put that, pick that back up for a second because we're going to scrap a doodle this and scrap a doodle those. There. Now make junk turn ammo. Okay. Get rid of the jar. Let's make duct tape out of this glue. And we need to compare the two pistols. So our current pistol is inferior to the one we just found. So we're going to modify that to get the ammo back. And this is now our new pistol. These two things we're going to stash probably back in that chest <clears throat> where our bag is. That way we'll, we'll actually have a spare pistol. We'll put a couple 9 mil ammos with it too. Okay, good. Um, there's a few more things. Oh yeah, we were going to look at this too. Okay, so yeah, the green spare is definitely better than the iron spare, so let's scrap that. And might as well pick that iron back up since we're going to get some more. Another cabinet that we missed here. Scrap a doodle. Scrap a doodle doo. How about some coffee? Nope, no coffee. Okay, there's still Zeekers in here, so let's be careful. Um, let's just make sure everything's loaded. Case in point. 42 shotgun shells now. Nice. I wasn't expecting two soldiers. I was expecting one, so that was a little... That was a little hairy scary. Recock. Nice. Okay, scrap a doodle of that. Junk turd a doodle of that. Okay. So we got a Zeke there. That could be a crawler, actually. Um. I guess the question is. Yeah, there's three bookcases there. We definitely got to check those out. Those two rooms have doors. All right, let's see if we can get um, our crawler buddy. Come on, easy. Do you some more damage when using a scope? Yes, please. Uh, sure. Why not? Let's just scrap this. I, I don't like those quests. Never, never have been a fan. Uh, we need a drink. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay. Come, I think there might be like a shotgun messiah crate or something in that back room. I don't remember for sure. We'll take those. Probably going to be a Zeke in there, but there's also... Uh, there's also like a washing machine in there, which could have some clothing. Because let, Let's look at our clothing for a second. Well, we've got a nice shirt, a suit jacket... And a purple kilt. Yes, that is a kilt. It's not a dress. So, I mean, our clothing's not in that bad of shape. Oh, shit. Whoa! You didn't waste any time. Man, she's fast. Holy smokes. Alright, well, that didn't get anybody else's attention, so... And look at that big juicy ammo pile. Give us some of our 762s back, baby. All right, yeah. Okay, how about some pants? Nope, no pants. Uh, red cowboy boots. 
Not as good as whatever we're wearing right now. Oh, we're wearing leather armor boots. That's right. Uh, I'm just going to leave those there. Okay, good. So that window is... Or that room, rather, <clears throat> is... Closed. Oh, no. Okay, sweet. Rod and spring schematic. Okay, good. Let's close that door. We're going to have a Zeke right inside of here. But there's also a, a box in there, too. nobody in there all right well that's okay save ammo we don't care about that <clears throat> okay it's a suitcase this time there we go um we're actually not in bad shape food wise we're in pretty good shape as a matter of fact um there's a nice shirt but the thing is, is um, that, you know, it gets hot in the wasteland, and we've lost our little grace period anyway. I think I'd rather keep this because it's got better heat resist than this shirt does. This would be better for the wasteland. I mean, for the, the, the snowbound, but we don't have a snowbound in this world, so. All right, well, we're finding pretty, pretty nice loot. Nothing up there. Let's head on out. There still could be a couple Zeeks in these rooms. But I don't remember there being anything significant in either one of those rooms. Well, what the hell? Let's just look. We just need to upgrade that once for her. <laughs> there you go. It actually would have been faster to... This thing's a bugger to hit. Come on. I should have just broke that block out down below, huh? Uh, repair. Quit screwing around, just do it that way. <clears throat> Alright, medical pile. What do we got? We've got another pill and a duffel bag and more food. Okay, yeah, see, that was worthwhile. Well, I'm just going to leave that there. Well, actually, we could scrap that. Okay. This is a bathroom. Might as well check it since we're here. Be thorough. Okay, we already know that. I uh, guess we'll take another cooking pot. Doesn't really matter. And we'll scrap a doodle of that. Okay, this house is looted. Let's get out of here. We still have a junkyard and that little trailer house there to do. Before it's time for us to move on again. Now this place, um, the the fat loots in this place are around the that's in that corner, but around the other side. But there, the, there's also a trellis on the other side, so the zombies can get up on the roof easily. Don't care about that stuff. We checked that mailbox last night. Look in here. There's a workbench in here. 
destroyed. Does it have a thing? Ooh, nice. Steel shovel. Yep. Uh, it's pretty much better in every way than the iron shovel. So we're going to scrap a doodle to iron. Yeah, we have a steel shovel. Sweet. We're finding some pretty decent stuff. I would have preferred to have found an actual workbench schematic, but you know, beggars can't be choosers and all that, right? So let's work our way around to the other side of this little place here. Ooh, potatoes. There's a bunch of potatoes there. Oh, that's a nice find. I think we're going to leave them there and we're just going to bookmark this place. Because remember, this this area is the place that also had those blueberries, chrysanthemums, and all that kind of stuff, too. Um, so... Let's bust this out. I I perched up on the or nerd pulled up onto this POI one time, thinking I was safe, and I didn't know this trellis was here. And needless to say, it didn't turn out too well for me. Yeah, look at all those potatoes. Beautiful. Let's mark it. Spuds. We got spuds there. Two, four, six, seven. Looks like there's seven plants. Plus we've got that other... Uh, What is this? That's 1,000 hit points. You know what? Let's go... Let's just go in. We'll only have to kill one or two Zeeks, I think. Rather than try and... Bust open... Okay, so we got a big mama, it looks like. There might actually be two Zeeks in there, so let's upgrade that. Yeah, there are. Come on, you can do it, ladies. There you go. Oh, there's a weapons bag in there too. Nice. Okay. She's dead. I'm going to let her break this. Okay, we got a point. Excellent. What do we got? Okay, let's check that shotgun. We're going to leave this stuff here. that zombie walking around out there. <sighs> He's probably going to hear us. Looting. Oh, that's a nice little find. I think we're going to keep that. Okay, there might be a zombie back here too, but I think I think there's um some more crates and stuff back in that closet, so scrap all of that there. Did he just die? Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, so um, we we're going to compare shotties. So the yellow is better, and this shoddy is also better. It's kind of too bad because that one is like fully... Uh, does it have any shells in it? Nope. 
That was in a lot better shape, but that's okay. You know what we'll do with that one, though? We'll take that one over to our chest and leave a couple shotgun shells, too. So that way we'll actually have weapons if we ever respawn back at that place. Um, I think for the sake of getting a spot back, we're going to pop this pill right now. Because we're about... We were about 20 points down there. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to need to drink, so we might as well drink both of these right now, and that'll also free us up another slot. I'm not keeping jars for now. Hmm, that's suspicious. Nope, all good. I guess there isn't anything back here. I thought there was. Well, I mean, like, loot box kind of thing. Uh, yeah, we will definitely do that, and we'll scrap a doodle that. Okay, so, all of this, as usual, gets turned into junk turret ammo. That goes away. And we, have, we still have the junkyard to loot, so let's do that, and then let's get the hell out of here. I want to drop off um, a couple of these items, though, at our chest. And then we're going to hit that junkyard over there, and I think that's it. Or the POIs around here. And we can move along. Let's get this thing out of the way. Okay, so, let's see. We wanted to put... Range damage 32, 33. We want to put this pistol in here, and we'll leave... Uh, let's leave 25 rounds. And then we wanted to put this shotgun in here, and we'll leave... Maybe 12 rounds. Nah, let's not leave 12. Let's leave 8. I don't want to short myself either. Okay, um, I'm going to put the silver in here. I'm going to put the paper in here. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know what? Let's put that in there, too. The grill? See, now, we could make grilled meat, so we better hang on to that. That's actually pretty valuable to us right at the moment. We better hang on to that. Okay. I think, uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Got two cans of salmon, two boiled meats, five eggs. No, it's that junkyard we gotta hit, not that one. We've already hit that one, and we got we got some stuff stashed in that one too. We'll have to, you know, if we ever do make our way back here, we will uh, have to remember to grab it too. <clears throat> you know, maybe way down the road when we get like a 4x4, four four, we'll have to make a road trip back to all these places and pick up all the stuff that we left behind. Assuming it's worthwhile to do, I mean, I don't know, we'll see. It wouldn't really be worth doing if if we already have way better stuff than we're leaving behind, you know? So we'll see. We shall see how it goes. Okay, let's hit this junkyard and then let's hit the road. What time is it? It's 9.30 in the morning. And we got a, uh, we got another point too, don't we? We've got to figure out what we're gonna do with that. Oh, I know what we were gonna put that into perception, weren't we? I mean, into uh, lucky looter. I should have done that before I looted that stuff, but oh well. Mm. 
Nice. Now we can make three bacon and eggs. Okay, I'm trying to remember where the safe is. It's going to be on the opposite corner. Let's just go all the way behind uh, the junkyard and we'll go in through the back. This is a big junkyard. Oh, man. No, normally I would, but without pills, just too risky. Too risky. All right, let's make some more bolts. We should probably hit some of these shrubs and get some more wood back. How much wood do we have? Well, we got 290. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We'll do it anyway, though. Get a few more stones, because we threw a lot of rocks last night. I think the next point, guys, that we're going to take is we're going to take the first point in Sexy T. Because, uh, you know, we're just having some stamina challenges trying to use a sledge. And it's going to help us with other things, too, like mining and, you know, breaking into blocks and that sort of thing. Breaking blocks. Okay, let's just pick those up. Dude, go away. Don't make me come over there. All right, where we need to break into is right about there to get to the room with the safe in it. We might just need to kill this guy. I think he's going to be a pain in the ass. Okay, this is your last chance to bugger off. If you don't, we'll kill you. He's actually already dead anyway, but he doesn't know that. Somebody step on a mine here or something? Okay, so I think the safe is right about here. What we're going to do is we're going to get three blocks up. So we're safe from anything coming down below. <clears throat> uh, we need to get more gasoline for the master key too, don't we? Uh, well, yeah, let's just use it. Oh, no, we need the master key for the safe. Okay, let's, let's use the pick to break the brick. And then we'll use the master key on the safe until we run out of gas, and then we'll probably have to break the rest of it open with uh, with our pick. Okay, so we're going to break through here. Whoa! Biker zombie. Oh, he, he came off the roof. That's what he did. Okay. All right. That guy's scary. Am I too high up? Oh, I am too high up. Darn it. Okay. That's like the floor. Oh, no, that's the stairwell. Okay. Um, actually, then the safe's probably more... Over here. 
biker's making me nervous. Whoa! <laughs> Edgar! He's whacking on something. this is the right block. I'm almost starting to think maybe we should go one more over. Okay. Where is... Let's get, let's get this guy into play here. Um... Except for he's not going the right direction, is he? He'll probably just break that right out again. Okay, well, here. Let's get the master key out. Closer here. Oh, uh, you know what? We're hitting the damn block. Down below is what we're doing. This is getting uh, kind of hairy. Whoa! What the hell? I'm glad he's dead anyway. Oh! <laughs> they fell! Oh no! They went right back up, cycled around, and fell right back down on my head. I should have known that was going to happen, but I was like... That was a little chaotic. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that's alright. We've got our we've got our bedroll right nearby here. And let's just grab a couple of these rocks. I'm gonna leave everything else in here. So we have something to throw. Nothing in immediately nearby. I don't see anybody. Oh, we got that stupid Grim Reaper again too. My favorite. We're cold? I thought this place was supposed to be hot. I guess it can be both. Alright, let's just scooch on back over there and assess the situation. Those zombies are going to be running around, wandering around, but maybe we can get them to bugger off with uh, some stones. Yeah, when, it, when I saw them running back into the building, I should have... I probably should have just made a run for it at that point, but... It didn't quite register in my brain. There she goes. I just didn't want to take the chance of her changing direction and coming towards us. What's that? Is that death number? That's death number five. Okay. Eh, not too bad, I guess. Considering where we are, right? Oh. We can't get rid of him with a rock. Shit. Stupid dog. Oh, alright. We're going to have to give him a wide berth here. go up on top of this little bank. Uh, okay, I 
was just kind of looking around to see if we could spot any green. Any greenery. You better not come around the corner there. You little son of a... No, no, no. This is not a good time for a snake to come after us. Shit! I don't see any zombies running around over here. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> oh my god. It's so hard to see those in this texture right here. See, now we're hot. Okay. 43, 46. That goes there. Uh, that goes there. Now, let's make sure we're loaded. I hope that we um, get... are able to replenish some of our ammo from that safe after blowing half of it. In that fight there. Everything needs to be reloaded. <sighs> Alright. Let's see here. We're going to probably have repops. very long is it shit this is not easy all right let's try something different here let's get this let's get into that room in there where the safe is because I think the um, I think the door is blocked uh, has a pretty stout door on the other side should be good with that because then they have to stand on the ground um let's just upgrade that i know we probably don't need to but we're gonna do it anyway okay let's also block this because they're gonna try and break through that door to get at us all right should we just use the pick because the master key is gonna wake everybody well this probably is too ah screw it we gotta get out of here we don't have enough gas in the master key anyway to probably do the whole thing, but we'll get it part way down. Oh, they are hitting the top block. Shit. Okay, let's get it up. Get it all the way then. Okay, now they won't. All right, we're just going to kill these guys.
Need some stamina. You guys are really making us fight for this safe, aren't you? You bastards. Okay. That door should hold up for a little while. Let's just kill these guys now. How silly of me to think I could have just sneakily busted a hole in the wall and get to the safe without any resistance. Well, actually, that's kind of what we did in the first junkyard. It was nowhere near as hard <laughs> as this. Is he dead? Nope. All right. Um... Let's eat one of these to get our stamina cap back up. We still have a minute left of the coffee coffee buff. That's just one little girl zombie. Okay, let's just keep working on this then. We gotta remember to get gasoline too the next opportunity. Gotta love the struggle, man. Gotta love the struggle. Come on, coffee buff. Minor 69er and Sexy T are probably the next two skills that we're going to take. Because 69er would help us break this sucker open. And probably Mother Load too. Mother Load's not going to be quite as important though until we get to where we're going to do our real base. So we can wait on that a little bit longer. All right, what do we got? Uh, all right, let's just grab all of that. Try to remember what all's in there. There's, there's that safe. I mean, not the safe, the lockers. Could have some good clothes in it. Let's just go in here. Might as well now. And we need to wrap up this episode too, so. We'll hit those lockers. Um, You know, I think there might be a bookcase in here too. That gives nice heat resist. But we're wearing armor. So yeah, let's uh let's just grab that. At some point we might come back for that thing, but we don't need that right now. Oh, there's a Kim bench in here. We already know how to make one, though, don't don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay. 
could have something good in it though. works. Yeah, there's a case in here. I thought there was. Actually, you know what? We're in pretty good shape right now for stamina, so. There's a couple more cupboards in there. All right, give us something good. Uh, craft diamond tip blade mods for tools. Okay. That'll be useful later. Doesn't really help us a whole lot right now, but later it will. Okay, scrap those. Drunk turret ammo these. Turn these into crossbow bolts. And I think we're good. Uh, this. Hmm. Let's just leave this stuff in here. Man, we sure lost a lot of 7.62s in that last fight, didn't we? Oh, we need to check the shotgun. Uh, okay, so it's not as good as our yellow. It's a little, well, it doesn't do as much damage as our brown, but it's got a little, it's a little faster. And it's got a little more durability, but I think I'd rather just have the ammo. I mean, the, um, the, uh, what am I trying to say? The damage. Okay, we can put that on there, and that increases this guy to 50 damage, which is nice. All right, let's get this back on the toolbar, and it is time for us to go, guys. So, I'm just going to put that in there. So, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.